All right, what's going on, everybody? How we doing? Welcome back to the worst Magic Arena stream. What's going on, people? So, uh, more dinosaurs today. A faster dinosaur today, as you can see from uh, me not running the whole entire playset of Italis. As a matter of fact, uh, <clears throat> speaking of Italy, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't cut the whole playset. I, I gotta have one in there. Gotta have one in there. But, yeah, faster dinosaurs, right? Mostly we're curving out at uh, Bonehorde Dracosaur here. We know Bonehorde Dracosaur. We like Bonehorde Dracosaur a lot. If I don't draw my tributes or if they die you know this guy's going to give us card advantage it's got some great combat keywords flying and first strike we like the guy a whole hell of a lot this is the guy that we want to see pretty much every game today i'm um, in a lot of games today we'll probably want to see this one too which i don't play as much but he's pretty cool right trampling hasting some great combat keywords um more combat keywords that are fantastic he also has a mana sink um he gets plus two plus zero until end of turn which is pretty nice because the thing has trample so um maybe combined with the skull spore nexus maybe we can get this thing seriously strong and trampling through and then of course you guys know whenever it deals combat damage to an opponent that much damage mirrored to a planeswalker or battle blah 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 um Let's see, just the, the playset of uh, Pugnacious Hammer Skulls as our best payoff for us, uh, Ixali's Lore Keeper. Um, one Hwatli, because it's it's not the, the fastest play. Um, and I, I wanted to go a little faster today. and It takes a while to get through the um, the saga, but I did want to have uh, one of it in here. So uh, here you go. Three Tranquils for the coverage that it provides here in Best of One. Blows Mono Red out of the water. Uh, a couple of these things because you know, it tramples, so it's uh, it's another good use of uh, Skull Spore Nexus. It grows right really nice with a boom, boom, and boom. Lord Lazy, how we doing? Welcome to the worst Magic Green stream. I, I like It's Quint. Um, uh, we're running three of them today. I, I, I hope my little boy does me well right combined with uh two of these and uh three of tranquils pretty much there is our interaction for the day unless if a, uh, I guess a tally finds us something of our opponents uh four paleontologists and the four lore keepers for nice early starts here's this page if anybody's interested let us begin yes click thank you Okay, let me hit the task manager right fast. Let's look at that goddamn Windows game bar. Where the hell is it? I know you're in here. Scrolling through the goddamn task. Where the hell are you hiding? I know you're in here. Have to find the bastard later. All right, let's go. Yep. Okay. Honestly, might as well leave right now. They're going first. We don't. We don't have a response. Turn one. Did you do midweek magic? No, I just logged in and uh, looked at what it was for uh, the first time. Unless if I, uh, unless if it was shown to me on uh, the Monday's uh, stream. I just I just looked at it. Omniscience, raft. And thank God it's not Momir. <laughs> Give it a shot. Sometimes I don't even bother with Momir. When I do, I usually win two games and I do not go for the uh, cosmetic. By then, it's usually too much. Alright, a Tranquil Frillback right here would probably be God Tier. Right? Um, did that not click? Alright, let's uh, adjust my power. All right, dude, you know what? That's really not helping at all. Uh, yes. Yeah. Tranquil, hammer skull, right? Yeah, that's, uh, there's no point in even bothering. <laughs> it's, it, it was over turn zero. All right. Good eye. Yeah, un unfortunately, anything, <laughs> anything but no player. Well, a fucking mana dork would have been nice there. 
Tranquil especially, of course. One of our three Tranquils. God, it's so good against Red. I got a Tarask. Yeah! So I just drafted as many draw spells as possible to dig for it. Hey, yeah, get it out there. Let it bully them. Uh, did you find it? I'm assuming that you found it. You drafted your draw spells for a reason. Fine. I don't like this hand, but fine. Uh, you know what? Fine. I accidentally clicked Mulligan. You know what? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with clicking the mulligan there. A lot of the people playing there don't seem to understand that card draw is the best possible thing that you can draft. Great, no attacks. Yeah, I'm pretty shitty at draft myself. Oof, garbage. Alex. Alright, the Jukai swings through. Or not. Wow, okay. I found it in five out of... Okay, yeah. I think it's going pretty well, yeah. Alright, that thing's going to be ridiculously large. Deuces. Yup, Lord Lazy. Damn. Indeed. Yeah, great turn there. Everything he needed. Yep, happy, happy to leave instantly. That's definitely one of the enchantments starts of all time. He didn't even need the ossification. He was just going to blast that thing through. Woo! Keep, keep this hand. Okay. Got our one of Italian hand. Evil big fat. Be like, dislike, and unsubscribe, Felix. Yes, what's going on, Felix? How are we doing, man? Welcome to the worst Magic Arena stream. All right, they take something there. Oh, brother. The reason the card draw is the best to draft is if everything is three, okay. Draw is just extra cards in hand, and at worst is some hand fixing. Okay. Um, let's get down this guy. I would assume it gets removed, and then they swing in for two, and then I immediately concede because I'm not keeping up with that. All right, I mean, we got to find It's Quint, dude. It's Quint or the uh, Triumphant Chomp. I mean, I put these cards in my deck, dude, in pretty good numbers. Uh, uh, I put these cards in the deck in good numbers, man. I really did. Um, uh, this is this is fucking garbage, dude. That's uh, that's pretty that's pretty wild. All right, that's that's. Uh, I mean, I, I put them in here. Well, we'll find them one day. Zero mana draw two is banned. Oh, Pot of Greed. I recognize that one for a reason. Are we just going to have the nice super awkward start? It's just going to take a little while before we get the right mix of cards, but until then it will never be the right mix. All right, dinosaur. Welcome to the best Yu-Gi-Oh stream. Wow, alternate universe today, huh? 
the 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 big fat MTG April Fools universe the best Yu-Gi-Oh stream my god my god Okay, well, the bat is probably going to interfere with a tally, so that's pretty awesome that we're finally about to do that and it gets interfered. Enough about the draft. It's dumb. Just my equivalent to Timmy time today. Oh, big Timmy time, dude. Big Timmy time to Rask? Oh, that's funny shit. Yeah, I, I'm good. I'm, I'm not going to get my Itali. I'm, I'm fine sitting in <laughs> I'm fine not sitting here kind of waiting. We, we still have a chance in this game. We really do. I I just don't feel it going fast enough, and I want to leave. <laughs> That's just down to me being impatient. And maybe if we had the it squint and we were actually like like back and forth, back and forth, but really we're just sitting there while they control the entire game. Like, very slowly. And then you... They're looking good, but it's... Oh God, it's fucking crawling. Um, sure. Yu-Gi-Oh! Has surprisingly good video games. Hint, hint, MTG. Oh, Richard, what's good, man? I used to play, um... An old Yu-Gi-Oh! game, man. Like, um... On PS1. Like, themed kind of... Back in its uh, ancient Egyptian, uh you know, era of the anime. I forget what it was called. You could combine monsters in your hand and put them on the field. I, I don't I don't fucking remember. Not just polymerization them, but like actually select two monsters in your hand, the game would put on some like whirring animation of them coming together. Um, let's do this. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah! Some amazing theme, classic theme music. Yeah, Matthew, what's good, man? Welcome to the worst. Magic Forbidden Memories, Adamant. Yeah, that sounds just about right. Thank you. Let's just get this stupid thing down. Sadly, we missed the land there. I really wanted to go Hammer Skull and then have this enter untapped next turn for a beautiful Itchwind. Okay, you know what? That's really good. Um... We can try to blast uh, Sharp-Eyed Rookie here, or we can get Pugnacious Hammer Skull down. I, I kind of like that a little better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me let me get my attack there. I, I should have um, attacked first, but, you know, whatever. I, I don't think they're uh, blocking either way. I mean, if they do block, that's awesome. I haven't really played them too much, because I have no idea how to get through metas or interactions, but I'm pretty sure it's easy to be F2P. Oh, the, um, oh, are you talking about the Yu-Gi-Oh game, perhaps? These people have gotten some great starts, so yeah, I'm looking up in chat, I'm trying to see if I missed anything there. Alright, I think we're, I think we're good. Um, Hajar only gives legendary creatures plus one, plus zero, and indestructible. Thankfully, it's a red-green card, so... I, I can know what it does without reading it. Thank I hate reading the card. Um, all right, yeah, let's. Uh, eh. But we could do Bone Horde here and try to fuck them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let Let's attack. Let's attack. Right here. Think I want to get the Bone Horde down. We could have done its Quint on the Sharp Eyed Rookie. Does that does that feel right, guys? I I think Bone Horde's probably the way to go. I mean, if I untap with that thing, I'm gonna feel great. Nah, big fat. I feel you, says Felix. The whole ladder feels wrong today for a reason. I have gone back to back one win and win lose with all sorts of uh, types of control decks. Ugh. Meaning I haven't climbed a single tech. Ugh. Godspeed to you, feel to you, Felix, out there. It, it's tough. It, it, it certainly has something to do with, um, you know, Mythic emptying out into Platinum at the end of the uh, season, certainly. If you're in uh, Platinum, either way, I think Diamond enter, like empties out into Gold, you know. So Those could be just as, pl as good players as Mythic, maybe even more. They just might not have the time <laughs> to get there. 
It's either that or mana screw. That sounds really frustrating today. <laughs> Keep your head up, man. Get them. I am always one card short. Always one say late. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and keep this. Right? We like this hand. This is a good hand. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's uh let's get this down. Right? Ooh. Oh. I still draw it. Yeah, I still draw the card. Yeah. I have to assume it's going to be all removal and, like, the Planeswalkers. Or, in other words, it's going to be really interactive, and if I don't like that, I'm an asshole for how tedious and stupid it is. Alright, let's attack. And we'll get down this guy. Alright. One more move, and I'm going to win this game. Are these quotes from Yu-Gi-Oh, perhaps? <clears throat> I, I don't remember where they're from. I, <laughs> I wonder if I'm missing something obvious. <clears throat> Dude, find me my tribute. Uh, let's attack. Drop Yearling. This will kill tributes. Sometimes I forget which ones kill tribute. <laughs> All right, ugh, I have to choose. Uh, fine, I guess this. This guy fucking blows. Hey, hey, I mean, he took his lump. He took his lump, I mean, from his perspective, Let's be real, he's miserable, but from his perspective, that is quite an annoying game, you know, sitting there on three lands. I mean, it, although, you know, every game with this person in it can probably be classified as a uh, tedious, you know, exercise and repetition. Just flavorlessly grind super hard. Although, I'll, you know what? I'll give him the second you get one of your creatures on the field to stick, he doesn't leave right away. He, he took his lump. I'm, I'm really going to give him that. So my elderly neighbor left a frozen bowl of stew out on her... F <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, that's optimistic. That's optimistic. The dog stole and ate it in your yard. Oh, no. I, I hope your dog's going to be all right, Richard, in, in his tummy. You know, I, oh, man, I hope it agrees with your doggy. <laughs> that's nice of your neighbor, but that's so naive that, like, all the pest animals wouldn't get it instead, right? <laughs> Not to call your dog a pest, but I'm just thinking, like, raccoons, foxes, Jesus, like, bears. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Um, hang on, let me, let me look, 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 okay. She took that bowl through woods and fences to get to, oh, wow. <laughs> wow, Johnny, yes, Johnny Exert, good evening. Welcome to the Worst Magic Green Stream. Very nice to have you. Alright, I think we'll, uh, haste in. I don't think it's getting ley lined, right? Yeah, they don't have an open source of white. Now they will. Now they'll have two. We know that means a board wipe, so rather than overextend onto the field, maybe I'll animate the manland. 
right, using the dork. Yeah, I think we'll, uh, yeah, I think we'll do that. I, I, I wish that was more, but I think that's the best we have there. Belligerent Yearling isn't terrible here. We could try it, right? Said so next turn we have a creature to give the plus two, right? Could have swung in for three there, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try that. Ugh. Oh, uh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Wow, that's really too bad. Um, we got it, Squint. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? I mean, we can kill this. It's very desperate, but we can do it. It's quite desperate. Have you tried the remix artifact, says Johnny Draft? Um, no, I, I have not tried it. Yeah, I, I feel so desperate right now. I feel pathetic, dude. But we have one shot, boys. We see exactly what that is. But if they drop a, uh, a Troxa, you know, life's going to be hard. They have this set on Angel. Two of those. Well, let's hope that they don't follow up with the Atroxa. I want your Atroxa. I'll take it. Oh, we got his Stomper. Really wanted something that would be a sorcery uh, on a stick. I guess that kind of is, but uh, something that wouldn't just get sunfalled and I would feel like it was very inconsequential. You know? yeah, let's see if he hits a sunfall here with two of those on the field. That's what I'm thinking. Yep, he attacks. We'll block. And I think it's sunfall. Dog has no idea how lucky she is. They love her playing with their horses. Aw. Highlight of their day, they tell. That's very cute. Let's do this. Alright. Well, I mean, we got Tribute down. I have now one card in hand. It would have been a little nicer a little earlier. Especially in this game when he didn't have Ley Lines for it. Too bad, too bad. Good God. I guess it kind of makes sense, though, because, I mean, we do have that land. Could be a decent amount of damage. Um, I don't know about that. He's got, like, six cards in hand. I have one dud in hand. If he drops a Trox, I'm leaving. Okay, yep. Just go ahead and do that to that. Dog get shot playing with horses every year around these parts. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Oh gosh. And I guess she doesn't know how lucky she is. Alright. Really about done playing uh, Chudley over here. NPC number fucking XXX, XXX, whatever his NPC serial number is. Alright, yep. Let's uh, do this. Bro. I mean, I guess that's actually kind of good, though, right? 
One, two, one, two, one, two. All right. Well, I mean, I guess we can do this. Should I get the belligerent yearling so I can draw a card? Or should I get it squint so that I can kill something? Let's let's start with the card. Wow, we drew it squint. Um, shit. All right. I don't know if I can do anything else, though. So, uh, that'll be all. Got my wins. There we go, Lord Lazy. Watching the stream now. Let's go. I've gone through a whole bunch of cards there. Yeah, through half of his deck now. Nine more than us. All right. Yep. Sure. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I can't believe I haven't seen a Troxy. I don't know what the hell is going on. Alright, well, uh... Okay, so they have a Leyline Binding. Fortunately, we have another... One of these it's quinces uh, in our hand. That's pretty good. Can't wait for those triumphs to go. <sighs> Wouldn't mind some more variety myself. Yup. Yup, indeed. Uh, do we use that to get rid of a uh, up the beanstalk? We might use that to get rid of an up the beanstalk. And I, gu I guess, um, yeah, just up the beanstalk. Eh, we'll gain the life. Yeah, fuck it. We'll gain the life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tana, what's good? Welcome to the worst Magic Grand stream. Thank you for coming by. Let's, uh, yep, do one, and this will destroy. I, I think it should be enough to beanstalk. Um, doesn't really matter there. Um, let's do this, right, on the, uh, angel. Right, have tribute resolve first. Yep. Now you can deal your damage there. And now we can have that become four. Um, I think it will attack. Uh, I mean, they have a lot of stuff, though. I mean, they have these things. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't. It, it, that's not a lot of stuff, but. I mean, the belligerent yearling does clean block the 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> they are half wild rescue horses for the from the BLM. Okay, so the dog is lucky. The horse is like her too. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> they will stomp a mountain lion. A mountain lion, no. Rob, horse not to be fucked around with. Another, he did two herd migrations there. All right, we're gonna have a really tough time unless we can use an Itali to find his herd migration. Um, we can do this, I guess. Right. <coughs> um. Should I only block that with Tranquil Frill back? Because that way I can get it back from the graveyard. Nah, I think we should block it with both. I, I hope that they kill Tranquil Frill back, though. I'm thinking they might kill Yearling. Because they saw something come back. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. We got an It's Quint there. That is definitely interesting, right? It's definitely interesting. I, I don't know if we're really going to do too much here, though. Um, maybe we can start by attacking and see what happens. All right, let's uh, attack. All right, let's do this. Uh, keep you. All oh, right, yep, my bad. That's 
reset and turn. Right, let's see. We take six of those. Six three threes. Or, well, five three threes. Yeah, that's 15 damage. All right, yep, not even going to bother. No good game. You're an NPC. Bye-bye. Wasn't a game. It was a ritual. Um, okay, fine, I'll close the application, I guess. The game didn't like when I called that idiot an NPC. In my defense, I don't give a shit. I know a lot of people don't like when you call people who play NetDex NPCs. That's why I say it so much. Ah, thank you. I was like, hang on a second. I, I didn't want to ask because I was like, oh, is that Black Lives Matter? I'm not sure if I should <clears throat> ask at all and have people want to talk about that, even if I don't talk about it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bureau of Land Management for your information. Wild Mustangs, the West is famous for. My bad. Let me just uh, turn off the screen right there. Okay, are we actually going to, like, load the menu, though? We are? All right, okay, okay, okay. Lights back on. Welcome back, boys and girls. All right, let us, let us continue. The horses were white, so BLM gave them away, says Richard. This hand, oh no, we can't keep that, man. Uh, the keep five is going to be fucking beautiful. I hate it. I know the keep five is going to be fucking beautiful. Fuck you. Nope. Nope. Look at that, bro. Look at that. That's not beautiful. That's perfect. Fuck you. Nope. Nope. I'm going to keep quitting on the beautiful keep fives until it says, okay. More players, more players are rejecting the keep five hands. We got to give them good ones on keep six. And that that keep five hand is just the most blatant, like the most d blatant display of being able to smooth some hands a little more than others, a lot more than others, bro. I'm telling you, somewhere in between nine out of ten to nineteen out of twenty keep five hands are just ugh, real nice. You can almost always find a, uh, you know, a set of five cards that gives you something to do in the first few turns. You would think that that, even in best of one, that would that would fuck me over sometimes at keep five. And I mean, it would fuck me over more times at keep a five because I keep less. Nah. Nah, man, I, I have faith in the keep five hand. I set my watch to the keep five hand. And that keep five hand has got me, man. It's my bro. Okay, let's see if we can uh, drop Hammer Skull and swing for six. Ooh, or kill that. <clears throat> That's going to be good to exile their whole graveyard. So, right now I'm feeling pretty good about my hand. And they could still pop off, of course. Royally pop off, but you know. We got It's Quint to hit Nissa. Tranquil to hit their graveyard.
you know what, dude? Fine. Two cards in hand. A little, a little bit of ramp there. You know, we're doing pretty all right here. But how many of these? You have one. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So he gets this thing down. Yep. Okay. Fine. It's Quint. Let's see what was that? Okay. Yeah. Good. Good turn. Great turn from them. Uh, I'm hoping they don't have another Virtuous there. One card in hand, yes. Um, we'll do that. Because that would take Nissa back. Please, please have blown your Virtue on that. Please, for the love. I mean, it's not really blowing it, you know? Protected, or if it was the last card in his hand. <laughs> now, now he's got the backup. Bra Bravo. Down to his last card. It was perfect, boys. It was perfect. Ever. <laughs> Man, that guy popped off like this is unranked. That's... <laughs> down to your last card, it's perfect. Or heck yeah, sure. Sure, bud, down to the last card, perfect. Yep. I like it. I like it. It's not great. Certainly far from bad. Uh, yes, please. Okay, let's uh, start by attacking. All right. Okay, I'm uh, real nervous about what this guy has going on for us. Uh, do I drop Tranquil and kill his treasure token? I don't think so. I might want to wait for Urbrass Forge. I'm, I'm honestly going to attack and hold back the Itsquint. I, I think the Tranquil Furl back killing the treasure token. I, I think that's a cute little play. I think I think it might be a total waste. Let's see what I mean. If maybe he sacrifices artifacts to this thing in this deck, I don't know. Two and a red, sacrifice an artifact or land, draw a card. Wow. Wow. Um we can drop Dracosaur. I don't know if it lives. We could also do Hammer Skull and then hit this. And, you know, it comes back. Yeah, Grant. I, I wish I had the instant speed uh, hate on this thing. Right there. I think it might behoove me to kill that thing. You're gonna have a six mana turn here. With the land drop. Enters tapped. Yep. 
mural. Oh, shit. God, we're getting lucky. All right. That, now we have all the answers, boys. It's, that's unfortunate for this person now. Yeah, no stun counter. See if they uh, respond with board wipe. Let's add up the man land really quick. I think we have exactly lethal if they kill Pugnacious Hammer Skull and then we animate the man land. Wow. All right, well, I'm going to uh, drop this one and... Uh... All right, boys. I guess we now pray for this guy. Wow, okay. So do I get down my tribute then? Is that what you're telling me to do? That'll be all. Oh, thank you. He didn't kill it on his end step. Thank you. Okay. Okay, sure. Hey, look, soldiers, soldiers, soldiers. Maybe he just has Mural because it, uh, yeah, stops opponents casting, uh, yeah, during their turn. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, maybe we should go for Bone Horde. Come on, draw me the land, dude. I want a tally. Wow, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, let's, uh, let's kill this thing, right? Because it does have a uh, sacrifice draw on it. Nice mana sink. I think it's probably best to take their mana sink out of here. Really curious what this guy is doing here. I'm trying to put it together. I, I mean, I guess he sacrifices all the Miro tokens to this. But how is he going to get that much land? That that costs a lot. Two and a mountain for each sacrifice. Right? No blue for training ground. I, I definitely like it. I see at least this synergy. I, I guess with the Witch Stalker frenzy and a big line of uh, soldiers, sure. Aurelius Vindicator. Okay, yep, that'll exile Bone Horde Drag Dracosaur and swing through. Wow, what's going to happen? Are, th are those creatures going to come back onto the field? Return the exiled cards to their owner's ha hands. Okay, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty fucking sweet. Alright, we're doing my favorite thing. Uh, yep. Oh, whoa. Whoa. That's his trumpeting. I don't have that in this deck. Oh, boy. Yeah, sure. I mean, we're drawing cards the whole time, so. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, well, I that was very fruitful. We, we casted Bone Horde and Trumpeting Carnosaur with Itali, and Trumpeting Carnosaur discover fived into Belligerent Yearling. We drew a card off of each one of those things. Wow. They're going to double Virtue Bone Horde, or Virtue Cut Down it. Oh, no, um... Is, it, is that a further bait, or are you going to learn what first strike is? Uh, I mean, unless he wanted those cards back in his hand desperately. Poor guy. Boys, we, we need to have a talk. And... I think that within, like, within the ranks, like, you know, with names Platinum, Diamond, Mythic, etc., like, I, I'm starting to feel, I'm hypothesizing that within each one of those named ranks, there are actually, like, multiple, like, smaller pools, and I, I would call them, like, 
call them like high, medium, or low, right? Like high performing, mid performing, low performing, right? So like if you're doing a good job in platinum, you might be high performing, right? Just if you're not doing too good of a job, you might be mid performing. And then if you start getting shit on like I was, you get low performing, and then you get matched up with like similar performing people, even within that ranked metal. Cause I, I don't know, man. It it, it kind of starts to make sense to, with me and my tinfoil hat with like why why when I go on lo losing streaks do I su do the like 250 card deck suddenly like just show up when like there was one point in this stream where like I never even knew that those people existed and then I started deranking before each stream and like suddenly like they were everywhere my tinfoil hat wearing brain assuming I even have a brain it could be a potential reason for it or a potential explanation. All right, let's uh let's haste. Oh wow, no kill. Two swamps open. Two swamps open, no kill. Hey, shout out Lord Lazy. We were just talking about how do you draw a lot of cards. It was actually for a uh, blue and red deck. Um, but, yeah, Brass is Tunnel Grinder. You could draw a lot of cards. Some things really like when you draw a lot of cards. I mean, in their deck, I guess their Shieldred will like it, right? <laughs> um, so. Uh, dinosaur. Do I empty their graveyard right now with Tranquil Frillback? I, I, maybe I should have attacked with another Rampaging Raptor. Yeah, I think I should have attacked with another Rampaging Raptor. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know about that play. Yeah, I could have had him down to six with a potential other one coming in. Alright. That's, that's a lot better than seeing a Shieldred. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'm assuming this guy may have some graveyard strats, though, right? I mean, I see discard there. I see discard here, everywhere, right? I mean, this, it has to be discard. Um, let me make up for fucking up last turn. All right, he can uh, block Tranquil. Maybe he can kill something else. He has three mana. Can he play another Chimmel here? Maybe he dropped it because, uh... Oh, wow. Alright, well... Wow. Wow, that's it. That's it, we win. Let me, let me just make sure to tap this properly. Because those both have Trample. So we'll deal him uh, 7 damage here. Because we're going to put damage on this. It won't kill it. It doesn't matter. Now our tramplers only have to deal it one damage. The rest swings through. Wow, what a top deck. What a top deck. Yep, that, that's a that's a big fat MTG approved concede. From his perspective, that's probably kind of bullshit. We tapped out for that too. Just kept on dropping hasters on him. We haven't drawn it yet today, but um, I, I'd like to get some nice use out of the one of Skull Spore Nexus that I have in the deck today. Um, and because we have some tramplers, right? I guess the evasion too from Bonehorde Dracosaur, but like we have the playset of these guys trampling, two belligerent yearlings trampling, right? Bonehorde flying, and even the one of Vitaly trampler too. Um, yeah, it's a good hand. So yeah, I'm really hoping for a nice um, skull spore. That's an inc that's the best top deck it could have been. We're we're feeling really blessed there. <laughs> that, that's that's quite a top deck.
I mean, let's see. He dropped a forest, right? If he dropped a... F yeah, he dropped a... F By the way, the nice Urza one. I have a lot of those in paper. <laughs> Varying degrees of nice condition or not. But yeah. Yeah, if we're just going to dominate the field like that and go first. Lore Keeper into Stomper. I don't blame him for leaving. Not at all, man. I don't know, dude. I I'll try it. It's a goofy hand. I'll try it. What's this guy's name? Bagel Dingus? Name's fucking Bagel Dingus? Pretty cool name. Let's go Bagel Dingus. There you go. Nice turn. That should have been a forest, but I want all my uh, dual-colored lands next to each other. All right, beveled eggs. Come on, let's go. Oh, okay, okay. I think you're pretty cool. Do we get Hotly down now? Or Tranquil Frill back? They have a real nice start with those two uh, counter producers out. This guy, a uh, little bit of a blue white player, but all right. Let's pick it up. Maybe he's unfamiliar with the mobile client. Okay. A good hit. Good card draw. Good stuff. Did I hear Watley, says Felix. Oh, you heard Watley. Yep, definitely wanted to include her as a one of in this one, even though it's a uh, faster deck. It's a little slower, but yeah, I still have like tributes in this quote unquote faster deck. So. We got her at one of. I just can't make a faster deck. Still have my one of a tally. Four bone hordes. Tried to make it faster. That's down from four tallies. All right, that uh, that Kami of Transients is pretty ridiculous now. So I mean, we're probably just about ready to go. Yep, there you go. That's pretty wild. There is nothing for us to do at that point because we're going to be very low. We will not get enough on the field. They will trample over anything. We could have caught that pretty low, though, with, like, the Triumphant Chomp, but, yeah. <laughs> we were on a timer there. Okay. Yeah, sure. We're up against Arthritis. Stupid name. Amalia. Whoa. <clears throat> Amalia. Okay. And they say Caminism don't work. There's Daisai. Uh, yep. I would assume they have another Amalia in hand. Uh, do we try to fuck them up with the Skull Spore Nexus, or do we just send it, Squinthin? Ok, 
Okay. So, uh, getting some life gain triggers. Possibly started? Yes, definitely started. Okay. And he gains the life off of the land. Beautiful. But can he, can he attack? Alright, we're going to do this very fast, boys. Yep, got him. <laughs> I don't know if he didn't actually compute what happened there, if if I managed to be a sneaky asshole, or if he just said GG and he knew exactly what it was, but the whole point doing that fast was to not give him time to process uh, what that does. <laughs> if, if he forgot, and just not put it together, even if he does remember, you know? That, that's a low percentage play. It doesn't always work, but <laughs> I, I'm happy that it may have worked there. I'll, I'll never know. I like to think it did. I forgot to mention your red duck accent is improving. Yay! Hallelujah! <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Trophy of two goats. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, man, it's... It's been, a, it's been tough playing. It's always tough playing out here in, uh, in ranked, but and I love getting nice, uh, nice things like that. That was good. Let's. I don't. I don't know. I. Uh, I don't know. Thank you, Felix, for the let's go. Thank you, Tana, for the nice. I'm keeping six because if I go down to five, then I'm gonna feel the need to to uh, get rid of the keep five on principle. Tell you, man. Smooth that keep five out a bit more. <laughs> a little bit more. Really smooth. I like clicking this. Oh, wait, wait. You just made a... You just threw a spitball? Hey, do that again. Do that again. Hang on, hang on. Do that again. Oh, boys. Boys, stop. Come on. How... How come they have to purposefully reinforce my stereotypes? Like, come on, dude. That's pronounced... Oxant, Oxant, by the way. All right, thank you. Let me get back there. I forgot to mention your redneck Oxant is improving. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Okay. I I think I'm done though. Honestly, yeah. Like I don't know, dude. Like with the, with the with the speed that you play at, like. Bro, honestly, like, maybe you should go back to card games like Go Fish. And, and you know, Go Fish is a, is a great game, dude. Like, who who hasn't enjoyed a, a wonderful game uh, of Go Fish with, you know, like, their, their elementary school or special education adult friends? You know, and uh, I wish happiness onto that blue-white player, uh, just genuinely struggling there to dictate the pace of a two-player card game. And, you know, I, I genuinely hope that he can find a two-player card game where he can adequately dictate the pace, and that's why I think a, a, a children's card game like that would be great. Now, they can call this one a children's card game, but watch a blue-white player. It's, this isn't for children. Watch him struggle. Add an I after the E in set. An I after the E? Accent? Like, like, the accent? Like that? Like, finish off the word that way? That's pretty cool. I like it. Um, It has to be you down first. Even though Intrepid Paleontologist is a better use of our mana. Just, I've just I've screwed that up enough. I know what it has to be. Okay, dude, we have to get Bone Horde down like yesterday. Um, I, I, it's Quint is going to have to blast this guy. So let's attack. I don't know if we're going to be able to blast it in time.
really don't know. There's a shot. Yep, good attack. Alright, we, we need to pray for the Bone Horde, though. They could go drop this and then play the case and have five of their creatures deal damage to it, so... They're right about at the uh, perfect number of creatures. If that happens, I mean, we have Paleontologist. Yeah, we, we have to destroy the Warden of Inner Sky. I would assume that they're going to, uh, yeah, do it. All right, thank God. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, we can do this. We just have to uh, tap everything properly here. Right, and then we have four. Yeah, okay, we're good. Right? Yeah, we're good. Oh, 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 okay. All right, boys. I'll, I'll take the like on the stream for that one. I, I think everybody enjoyed that. I, wow, thank thank God. Was it last turn they tapped out for an errant instead of having the case? Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Yeah, I feel quite fortunate there. Because <sighs> that's a good deck. That's why people are playing it. <laughs> Um, that's pretty weird, but, like, fine. It, it, it's weird, though. Yeah, this is really weird. Hey, maybe they'll drop, like, an Evolved Sleeper or something. We can have a good turn two there. Um, alright, let's, uh... Drop the Carpelson Forest to stay in line for the, uh, turn three tribute, I guess. Salt high, so we yeah we got to think mill. Uh, so tranquil frail back. We need to draw that within the next like two turns. <laughs> um, it's Quint. Maybe should just attack. Just just to like get them at sun some type of clock here. Damn Easterners, I forgot that words make a funny sound in your mouth. Forgot the I is sent is hopeless. Forget the I in sent, it's hopeless. Very <laughs> whale, Mr. Dragon. Very <laughs> whale. Alright, alright, alright. They're about to copy an instant or sorcery card in their graveyard. Um, okay. Um, I guess I'm going to hope that they don't have um, a counter spell. So let's attack with its quint. Yup, I bet this is squirming and or a nat. Oh yeah, good point. They they have some uh blues blues here. I, I wonder if it's squirming or yeah, Marina. Gotta be. All right, thank God. I was like, wait, you have a counter? Oh no, they're gonna be able to cast a squirming emergence. But they'll only have seven cards in their graveyard, so I guess they can get down Ginger Taxius or Titan of Industry. I hope it's Jin. Oh, you nailed it. Nailed it, Lord Lazy. Absolutely nailed it. Alright, let's see if we can do anything, though. We might not be completely helpless here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we could have up to 7. This is going to require 5. Six. So I can get this down, I think. Let me hit let me hit thinking. I can hit this down, right? I can do. 
Nah, if I want to do Triumphant Chomp, I'm gonna need a... Let's, uh, okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's start with this, and then let's attack. Right there. He has to suspect that something is, uh, something's up. Oh no, Tana. Brawl is filled with pox again. I'm very sorry to hear that. Quite annoying. Um, let's get this down and Belligerent Yearling, or do we hit this? Belligerent Yearling. And I guess maybe it's more to buffer ourselves from a uh, Portal to Phyrexia smashing us. If they have removal, it's just more uh, left over on the field to swing in with. Draw two, discard two. Okay, just don't have a squirming emergence now. Although, I mean, if they hit a squirming uh, or a portal now, the thing is, like, our, our skull spore will make a pretty big dinosaur. And we should be able to blast this, right? And then swing in with a double dinosaur pretty easily. So, like, honestly, if they hit portal to Phyrexia, I think we can win off of that. Alright, he got one with the multiverse, so I, I hope he gets a portal to Phyrexia off of this. Come on. Come on, dude, drop a portal. Yep, alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I'm gonna fuck you up, white boy. Um, Alright, how, how do we do this? Hang on, let, let me hit think. I, I want to ruin your fucking life. All I need is a nine power creature. Um, I, wa I want to keep Bone Horde, so let's just do this. Let's make him think that this is tough for us. This is funny for us. That tickled. Uh, is that it? Is that going to be it? Am I missing something here? Okay, let's, uh... Am I missing something here? Am I missing something? You know what? Yeah, yeah. I should I should have sacrificed the Bone Horde. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I should have done. I think I, uh, I fucked up there. I should have sacrificed the Bone Horde to Portal just to make a uh, a bigger creature. Yeah, I, I fucked up by uh, by sacrificing the token. Actually, that I that's where I fucked up because um, it's whenever one or more non-token creatures. Yeah, oh shit, I've, I actually fucked up there. Fuck, it's non-token creatures. Yeah, that's pretty bad, actually. That's pretty bad, because we really had the chance there. Actually had the chance there. Shit, I threw it away. Shit, that's pretty bad. Another squirming emergence? What do you have? Gingitaxius, I guess? Well, this needs to be incredible. Damn, I wish I hadn't fucking thrown it away, though. Really wish I hadn't thrown it away. This doesn't mute enchantments, right? Yeah, yeah. Artifact, instant, or sorcery. Um, I don't know if we can win with a, with a Trox up there, right? I don't know if we can win with that. Um, we might have to blast portal. I mean, can we win? Can, no, we, we can't win. There's no fucking way. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, the only thing that we can do is green, green... Red. We can do two things here. Because I want to hold open two for the Skull Spore Nexus.
Okay, well, I think we can uh, probably pass the turn. First strike, yeah, it beats a Troxel life gain. Yeah, that's why I'm, uh, I'm keeping it untapped. The problem with no attack is that they do have the removal spell. Um, and it's going to get doubled by Jin. The thing is, I, if I attack there, uh, they have this to gain a lot of life. I, that means that they have to block Bone Horde um, with uh, Atroxa. They also have Titan of Industry to block Bone Horde. And I, I just don't see that happening. Damn it. <sighs> Fucked up when I had the shot. Uh earlier uh yep uh okay they can choose new copies whatever all right so let's do this now i guess right so it's going to become a 10 power maybe Right, and then when it dies, um, we'll get a 10-10 dinosaur. I mean, unless they want to put another uh, removal spell on it. Yeah, fine. Fine. Paleontologist. Oh, that would have been so nice earlier against specifically this person. Oh, he did get one Tranquil. But I, this guy had an easy day against uh, against us today. One Tranquil Frill back in uh, oh, 20 cards. One Tranquil, and now we drew the Paleontologist after we passed uh, below 40 cards in library. Damn, too bad, too bad. Yeah, we don't always get it, you know. And that's how it is. Yep. Definitely a good attack with the Troxa. I'm surprised. Yeah, just to hard cast it. Yeah, even an inerrant white mana here or there, wherever. Yeah, agreed, Lord Lazy. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. Do we have 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We do have 10 mana here, boys. Um, We can kill Atroxa? You want a Paleontologist the Tranquil and then leave Atroxa on the field? That might not be the worst thing in the world to kill this. Because he's, he's not going to have the instant or sorcery card in his graveyard either. So, yeah, maybe I should. I was thinking of getting out um, It's Quint. Um, yeah, okay. I, I you, you might be right there. Okay. Uh, this. Wow. Wow, we drew another It's Quint. Yeah, Lord Lazy, I'm with you. Thank you for writing that in chat. Yeah, because I was about to do that whole thing, except I was going to get It's Quint back. Um, and I was going to use the Skull Spore Nexus to double the, one of these guys up to a 10 power, right? So then we could use It's Quint to uh, blast this with 10 power. I'm actually not feeling that bad right there. He said, you're go. I couldn't tell if he... Because sometimes, like, some people don't know how to respond to thinking. So sometimes I wonder if, like, that's them actually trying to be nice to me saying that. Um, all right. I, I think it's time to uh, blast Atroxa here. It's good practice. Wow. 
Um, we might want to... Hang on. Let's uh, do... God fucking damn it. My YouTube chat box is all over my uh, screen. Hang on. I'm sorry. I have to minimize it so I won't see you, you lovely, wonderful people in chat. Um, green... All right, let's uh, attack, right? We definitely don't want to uh, miss this opportunity to get a nice attack in with at least that thing. All uh, right, yep. They don't have any good one-on-one -on -one blocks with that. They'd have to, like, double chump it or just, well, I mean, you, that. Okay, fine. Um, all right, how, how many lands do I have now? Just three. All right. Well, I'm going to put this uh, goddamn chat on back on screen. All right, you annoying window. You annoying little window. Up. Oh. Wow. All right, yeah. F there you go, Felix. Lord Lazy coming in clutch. That was uh, Lord Lazy's victory. I think his uh, tranquil frillback play was much better than the uh, it squint that I was gonna do. And by by luck, it fucking drew me an it squint. Okay. All right, there we go. Yeah, winning a game against someone getting their squirming emergences off, hard casting Atrox, or well, not really hard casting Atrox, I guess getting one with the multiverse down and then free casting Atroxa. Wow. Wow. Yeah, thank the three trophies, yup. <laughs> Man, how about Tranquil exiling their whole graveyard like that? Oh, um, num, 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 num. Two Restless Ridgelands. I, I think I have two Restless Ridgelands in this deck. Hey, okay, okay. Giada. Oh, wow. Wow, I almost never get the opportunity to blow things up when I see them. Usually my removal is somehow based on creatures. Wow, okay. Um, that's very, very dangerous and bad. That's, like, so bad. Well, shit. Don't know nothing about none of that. Trophy, two goats. Let's go. Two goats again. Yeah. Now, that was uh, quite a game for us. Thank you, Richard Dragon. Thank you, judges. I'm honored. Um, do, do we go at him here? F. Gingitaxius. Worst Praetor ever, says Felix. <laughs> Honorable mention to our boy Urabras from Streets of New Capenna. <laughs> okay, that has lifelink. Yeah, we're we're having problems now, boys. This is uh this this is an issue now. Um let's start with an attack. That one isn't as bad as the minus seven oh ho 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 the original Gingitaxius. Betraying Elish Norn at the last minute, says Felix. Oh, did uh, Ginger Taxis do that? Little scumbag. Um, Alright, yeah, that's that's not good, boys. That'll be... Uh, I mean, I guess we can do this, right? If he gets uh, if he gets the land down, I think he can just sink the mana into a resplendent angel here. Oh, hey, okay, yeah, good game, dude. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. ah, this is that uh, covert go blue angels deck. Oh, and okay, perhaps it's a uh, recent deck. Not not sure if I've uh, caught the thumbnail for that yet. I don't usually watch the videos. Sometimes I do, but I usually check out the thumbnails, hover over, see what their deck lists are like. 
You can tell it's been a long day ooh, when you're double typing the words. Oh, gosh, Richard. Don't know nothing about none. Don't know no. Oh, wow. And I didn't pick that up. Uh, no. Urbrask has a nice person. Hey, my boy Urbrask. Oh, I like that dude. Let's get down. Uh, which one? This one. At the end of the squirming emergence game. Okay, okay. Uh, that one isn't as bad. I got that one. So, oh, the big knives. Yeah, I missed another one. Okay. Imagine portaling. Typing. <laughs> oh, this, this is a good chat. This is a good chat. All right. We got some talk here. Imagine portaling. Tightening. One with the multiversing. Tightening. Oh, he did all of that. Atroxing. Angin Detaxius. Oh, gosh. I, I feel so terrible for, yeah. So, sometimes I have games where I do some ridiculous things and still wind up with the goddamn loss. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> Seeing it written out like that, that's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, no blocks. Uh, no blocks. Wow. That's incredible. Uh, and... Green, doesn't really matter, right? Just, uh... I mean, do, do I get tribute down or... Nah, I, I should get this guy down. And let's blast uh, Sleeper or this guy who they can sink mana into. Sleeper. Honestly, if they want to drop a land and then attack, I will block the Shadow. Because they can sac sink their whole turn into that, not get too much damage, and I'll wind up with another Pugnacious Hammer Skull. Do it. All of your mana. All of it. One more. Isn't that nice and tedious? Don't you wish you hadn't done that? L look at what you've done. Probably should block Mishra's Foundry. I think that's the better one to exile. Gotta love the un- I know, that's- that. Ugh. The way it punishes you for certain, like, very- Easy in paper things. I just somehow know, you know, select that X times. We'll kill Underdog here. Hopefully. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Did, did I miss? Wait, wait, did, did I just spacebar through it really fast? Alright, that is uh, quite unfortunate there. Wow. Alright. Well, we're going to try the exact same thing. Uh, I actually have to kill this one, I think. Because Tenacious Underdog blitzes back really easy. That one's a little trickier. Uh, no attacks. <clears throat> Let's see if they just hit the kill spell and win. Yep, good game. Kind of like that deck, Black Aggro.
I play a, a slower version myself. That's probably how you can tell I like it. I go and mid-range it up for myself. Love me, creature decks. I, I am certain that phrases like, Don't know nothing about none of that. We're made up just to piss off New Yorkers specifically. They are not supposed to make... Oh. Why? Why? Why doesn't it make sense? It's bullshit. That's stupid. Fucking pisses me off, Richard Dragon. I'm angry. Um, I want both of my lands next to each other. I think we should get it squint down. I have nothing else to do. Tiger Grammar by Geist, boy! <laughs> ain't got... Ain't got room in this town for that shit! <laughs> that out of here, man. I, I'm gonna have to be using that ain't, ain't got enough room in this town line come the, uh... Come the next set. I'm gonna have to figure out some lines. I think Oko gets a gay cowboy accent, like, every time. I, I'm going to have to start working on that. I, I don't, I've i never really done it. I'm going to have to figure out how to sound like, because, I mean, come on. Like, it, it seems like him not having a shirt is canon, and, and it's very important. So, his name's going to be Broco Back, obviously. Broco Back Mountain. Um, but, yeah, I, I got to figure out the voice still. But, of, of course, the name, you know, creates itself. I mean, if they're going to mandate that his shirt be off all the time, but Vraska look like she has a low polygon, a low polygon count, like like in some type of like like, I don't want to be too mean, but like you know, something where, that you could like you know, define it genetically or something. I don't know that low polygon count Vraska just that ain't right up against uh, you know Oko who looks good. It looks good, good for him, you know. But if that's how you're going to do it, you know, I'm, I'm going to say something about it. I'm, I'm going to talk about low polygon count fucking hideous Vraska. And discount fucking bullshit Walmart Vraska. And Broco Back Mountain. And I'm going to have a good time doing it. Especially once I nail that gay cowboy voice. It's going to be awesome. Oh, it's going to be a great gay cowboy voice. Um, How the fuck am I doing this? Do I want this out? This guy's just going to wipe the board on me, right? That's all he's going to do. Let's do these. Where is T-Gat? I know. how I'm supposed to hit, like, the goddamn stream. I, I like it when T-Gat does that. I appreciate that shit. I, whenever anybody, uh, you know, writes something that I can paste up or, you know, what, whatever the hell it's called, put up like that, I definitely do it. Um, all right, that'll be... Uh, uh, honestly, I don't know if I really want to play you. Sorry. All right, do I want to waste a lot of my time to just try and get a card on the field with your idiot value grind? I don't know, dude. I mean, do I value my time or do I not? And I think about it, I'm like, eh, maybe a little bit. What is low polygon count Vraska? Oh, Felix. Um, okay, hang on. Let, let me show you. Hang on. That's actually a good question. Um, uh, yeah, because Oko look like, yeah, Cowboy Oko be like, and you know what? Slay, partner. I like the D in there, Lord Lazy. You know, he looks good. And God bless him. You know, Oko's looking good here, right? I, I, I wish that when I hovered over these cards for you, um, that they would actually pop up, you know, and I can't even right click them, Felix. But like, this is low polygon count Vrosko. You got, what you got to do, you like, look at her face. Like, I actually like the rest of the the rest of the art here. She's actually in a pretty cool setting. She's a Gorgon, right? So people who look at her turn to stone. And it looks like she's in like a Western saloon, you know, and surrounded by people who looked at her and turned to stone. I actually really like, you know, like everything in the card but Vraska, who just, I mean, that that just so much to be decided. Dude, everything. Just, just fucking, I, you know, I let it go. I don't give a shit anymore, Vraska. Oko looking fucking good, though. And, you know, good for him. Good for him. But, oh my god. 
Frosca just doesn't care. I actually feel bad. Somebody should, like, befriend her, you know? You know like, bring her out for a walk or something outside, you know? Why do I have so many questions, says Felix? Probably because I say some weird shit, especially when I'm uh, describing cards that I do not like. There you go. <laughs> Woo, Moon Watcher. Yes. Welcome to the worst Magic Grand Stream. Thank you for coming by. Isn't supposed? Isn't Oko? I heard that he was supposed to be the father of Kellen. I'm not very into it, but I think I heard the uh, the Magic Historian mention that, um, Felix. Yeah. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's do that. Technically, at the very least, bisexual. I, I couldn't tell you. I, I, I'm not, I don't really know. So some of the fellows in chat might know, though. Being corrected while typing my language really made me forget how to speak. Um, is it is it Hotly here? Let's start by attacking. What's that? I should have attacked with the Lore Keeper, too. My bad. Hey, maybe they had virtue. Oh, if they had virtue, they'd probably want to uh, lock the yearling. Never mind. She looks a bit blocky. I wish she looked better. I really like Vraska. I wish she looked better. Huge that we have three, uh, three power on the belligerent yearling there. Uh, we will not overextend onto the field here. That will be all. Vraska is bay. I'll die on this hill. Moonwatcher, I'm with you. I'm fucking disappointed. Uh, we do have a decent turn here. Um, if we swing in with this. Uh, yeah. All right. Um. Jace is in the set, so Vraska is definitely going to have a date. Ooh, good for her. Good, Yeah, I mean, right, judging by how she looks in that illustration, she needs it. So I'm really happy, you know. I'm going to have to tell Jace to be nice to her, you know. Trying to log into Arena, but my internet, ugh, nice and annoying. Well, thank you for stopping by the worst Magic Arena stream, then. So are they going to block with Ryan? Wow, that took a while. They must have really not wanted to. I don't, I don't blame them at all. I mean, they want to use their Rotodropic here in their Abzan Legends strategy. So yeah, it makes sense that he took a damn long while to figure that one out. Um... Intrepid Paleontologist isn't bad here, right? Yes, thank you. I'm not even a Jace fan, but the ship is so well written. Alright, that Thalia is going to block Belligerent Yearling pretty well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We could send in the uh, the Marauding Raptor. I kind of like it. Right? I, I think we send this one in. Yeah, sure, but there's no point in doing that. Alright, it's just going to get shit on by Thalia. First strike. Yep. 
That has death touch, so we lose our thing here. Took a full 10 seconds <laughs> to realize that you weren't talking about, yeah, an actual boat. Good. <laughs> um, let, let's get this one down and pass the, the gosh darn turn. Yeah, we'll do that, but once again, don't matter. No attacks. Alright, we can only hope that they do something that involves targeting their graveyard. I wish MTG would do more original storyline sense. Oh, I'd, I'd like to see, um, like, for example, when we went to Ixalan, I would have loved it if they focused on dinosaurs in one or two sets, or one set, and then focused on Merfolk, and then focused on, oh, you know, pirates, or somehow fleshed out a block. Yeah, I'd love to see the return of uh, blocks. We can't do anything there. Let's actually just... Uh, Let's take from their graveyard. I'll speed it up next time. My bad, I am. Um, I, I thought I would have a target. Alright, let's... Uh, yes! I clicked it! Jesus Christ. Alright, whatever. Just click. Okay! I, I'm going for it, dude. He's holding up removal. I'm going for it. Uh, yeah. Make it a seven. That's uh that's fine. Let's uh let's start by attacking. Alright. Just uh just this one. <clears throat> Belligerent yearling gets absolutely massacred. They'll just block it with uh I would say probably Malira, not Thalia. Okay. So Jace was drag queening as a Shyuk for how many sets says Felix? Oh wow, I'm gonna have to see the answer to that I, I couldn't tell you. Since the last ooh, Moon Watcher here with it, since the last chapter of Eldrain, okay. It was the real a Shyuk during the main story though. IDK why they stopped with the blocks at Lord Lazy. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. From what I've seen from Spice 8 rack videos, the lore is pretty interesting. Yeah, I, I, from what I've seen from MTG uh, historian or magic historian, not enough to really get into it myself. But yeah, it looks like people really enjoy that stuff. Yeah. I already watched Bethesda completely change my Fallout. Not sure I'm up for it again. Oh man, I, I've only ever played on um, one Fallout, but um. Was Bethesda the people that made, like, the Elder Scrolls Morrowind? Because if so, then I played, like, those games, you know. Not that they're very related. Okay, good to hear, Moonwatcher. The Outlaws of Thunder Junction story was pretty good. Not that Bethesda, Bethesda ruined it. You know, okay, about the uh, Fallout. But I want to make... Pornos in New Reno. <laughs> Classy. <laughs> and the epilogue set the new set the epilogues uh, set the new big art. Okay, I, I read it. I read it. We're keeping it. I could summarize it here unless someone well, if anybody speak now or forever hold your peace. I would imagine uh, pre-recorded viewers, you might want to skip forward if you uh, don't want to see that uh, spoiler. You might want to skip forward to... Uh, hey, you'll see uh, you'll see the uh, chat go away, I guess, on the side of the screen, on the left side of the screen. You're good. I, I think we're fine. Oh, wow, okay. The four-hour video I watched about Kanza Tarkir lore. Fucking sweet. Definitely worth the time. Ooh, they got that out. That's uh, That's pretty good. That's a uh, pretty good shit, boys. Um, let's uh, let's uh, yeah, let's attack. Not blocking with it, I don't think. I 
I don't think I would risk blocking Rot Priest when they could have Tyvars, right? <laughs> um, and I need it for Bone Horde. It's not as good as are you talking about Spice 8 Rack? It's not as good as his Baby Needs Money video, though. That thing's terrifying. Hey, okay, okay. Bone Horde's going to be a good block on that, right? Because they'll have to get it up to five toughness to survive the uh, first strike combat. Um, Let's not attack. Do we not attack or do we attack? Yeah, let's attack. It's a take. Okay, we're nervous, boys. That thing's incredible. We're going to block it. Let's see if they can get up to five toughness. It connives, so that'll help. Ooh, okay, yep. Okay. Ah, uh, dude, no. You're fucking killing me. Oh, and it's quit the... Oh. You're fucking killing me, dude. You're really killing me. I, I should have dropped the belligerent yearling pre-combat. I fucked up. I'm genuinely hoping that they don't drop land number three, or at least it enters tapped. Uh, yep, resolve all. We can exile that from their graveyard. Uh, right here. block. We have to. They're dangerously close to actually beating us there. Bro, you're, you're seriously a real piece of shit, man. I, I think that's it. I... <laughs> Yeah, that's fuck. There's no way they're not winning here. That is absolutely it. That's uh, that's pretty fucking stupid, man. <laughs> Had a whole lot of removals. We didn't find a single one. Ah, <sighs> wonderful, wonderful. Jason Frosca get cured of phyresis thanks to Jace's uh, mental prowess, shielding him long enough for him to be stabbed. Well, Jace's mental prowess, shielding him long enough for him to be stabbed by Elspeth with a halo sword. And then some magic cognitive therapy. Okay. They escape and hang out for a while at Jace's mom's house, who's a healer who helps in this process, and decide that it's useless to keep saving the multiverse if new shit keeps happening. And now, thanks to Omen Path, it's way much easier for a new bolus kind of threat to emerge. So they go endgame Thanos and decide the best solution is to reset the multiverse. Fucking okay. And I have a Lord Lazy here. Let me see if I missed a previous one. Shit, I, I shouldn't have taken that hand. I was looking at chat. My bad. I, fuck. Should probably just find another game. I don't really give a shit. Especially if it's going to take a moment here. I'm good. My bad. Um, okay, let me let me get where was uh, Lord Lazy here. And I quote, So baby needs money. But baby, I hear you bleat. Outside of letting you booze up and buy more. Wow. 
And I quote, all of that, why should I give you money? Let me get back to Moonwatcher here to reset the multiverse, dot, dot, dot. Okay, and now they find out about the Fomori, 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 Fomori baby in the vault in Thunder Junction. Gather some allies and plan the heist from the main story. Felix likes it fucking all right. Okay, and, and plan the heist from the main story. Disguised as, okay, so disguised as a Shyak, all right. They hire Oko to gather a gang of villains to rob the vault promising some cool amazing treasure fucking okay oh that's a good uh, that's a good draw um we're going second against red this guy has an awesome name um but we do have tranquil frillback pretty much in the exact matchup we wanted in Okay, we want the yearling to block the etching. Good lord. Yeah, that's probably Monstrous Rage, so I'm going to do that, because if, if Monstrous Rage goes on this, um, I still kill the thing. Even Blazing Crescendo on this one, I wouldn't have been able to deal with that. Uh, okay, let's drop this, I guess, right? Oh wait, he has monstrous rage. Egg. Wait, how'd you how'd you get it exiled? Oh, that was that uh, that was that thing. Yeah, exile top card. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, we didn't even get to having four lands on the field to be able to cast tranquil. Well, that's a uh, really awesome game. Wow, that's great. <laughs> and down to of course, yep. Well, good. Put us out of our misery. It has to be down to the last card. Go for it, him. Yeah. Yep, you're an NPC. I do really think somebody enjoyed playing against you going first and doing that. <laughs> do you really think so? <laughs> After some Western-style shenanigans, they rob the vault. Yep, find there's only a baby there. A Shyak reveals to be Jace, right? He and Vraska get the F out. Meanwhile, Kellen finds out his deadbeat dad was deadbeat and not worth seeking, but finds inner peace in being his own man now, decided to uh, hang around Thunder Junction for a while with his goth GF, as well as Annie Flash. Yep, I saw the uh, spoiler. Okay, new character, pretty cool. And Ral Zarek, who will uh, sort of be mentoring him as well. Oh, uh, yes, it's a good hand. All right. Most of Oko's uh, gang parts are most of Oko's gang parts, but leaving it um open that they might reunite again for a new heist to compensate for the treasure they never got. Watcher loved the interactions between the gang. I'm all caught up with chat. I'm feeling good. Okay. Let's uh, let's attack. Let's drop this. <clears throat> Do we flip Watley next turn? I think I think so. Okay. Well, we'll do one other thing first. Uh, that's all. Gerald, yeah, thank you for, uh, I'll second, uh, Felix there. Thank you for typing that out. Thank you for sharing. Okay, well, this one doesn't stand a chance in hell against them, right? But we know exactly what that is, right? And there's no way we untap with this, so we need to find tribute, dude. Wow. Uh, let's.
let's uh, go ahead and uh, do I get this down or do I just attack? I think we attack. Um, yeah, end turn. Good. <laughs> Fucking good. Genuinely can't believe that we untapped with Bonehorde. I, against that guy? There, there's no fucking way it wasn't only removal. Well, I guess... I uh, Maybe Planeswalkers. Giralf and Gisa hating each other, but uh, always hanging out together. Satori and Karovek, perhaps, hating each other. And the best is Rakdos and Tiny Bones. Become a chaotic partner's duo. Fucking all right. There's a super funny sequence at the end where they escape um, riding on Rakdos' back. And he's like, I let Gideon do that once, but I said never again. This time, I meant it. When are we going to get Rakdos versus uh, Obnixilis, says Felix. That's my question. Wow, good question. Two paragraphs later. Tiny Bones is riding on his back again, and he said, I said I wouldn't do it, but does anyway. And also, nice from Lord Lacey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm very happy that, I mean, we didn't have a great game. We had an alright game. We got into Bone Hordes. Nothing special for this deck with four of them, but I'm happy that guy didn't have a good game. <laughs> Transients. Um, that's really good. Do I get the uh, paleontologist down now? I can't tell. All right. Oh, brother. We're not going to be able to hit Kami here, so we're going to have to go Tribute, I guess. Try to get a freaking next turn. If it grows above four, I'm really screwed. Oh, come on. Don't put, don't put the Calyx counter on it. Come on, put the Calyx counter on Calyx. Fine. No blocks. <clears throat> the thing is, I feel like I have to kill Calyx. Right? I, I think we have to kill Calyx. No attacks. Well, I'll attack with this one, I guess. Imagine the only reason he had Depop in... Oh, yep. Yep, because Quintorius Discover 4. Good call there. Wow, all right. He's, he's drawing so many... Or he's making so many counters. I, I don't think we do it with a, uh, with a Bone Horde here. Yeah, I, I don't think we do it with Bone Horde. No attacks. I think that's probably it, though. Yeah, I'm assuming they're going to play at least two spells. They'll just empty out their fucking hand. Okay, yeah. I can't see us doing anything against that. Shouldn't you just attack with everything, idiot? There you go. Good boy. Uh, yep, we'll uh, make the shitty blocks that we have, and we'll still fucking lose by exactly zero. Well, actually, more. Sorry, they have trample. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's much to do there. I think in a uh, best of three, I would now be sideboarding in Brotherhood's End. Although, honestly, like, I don't know. Because in, in a best of three, I'd probably want stuff like Kagla and Yudaro. And coming up, I'll want uh, 
Terror of the Peaks. Although, I mean, will that really be in the sideboard? You know? Oh, boys. When Terror of the Peaks comes out, it will no longer be a special occasion when Big Fat MTG is actually blasting people's creatures. Oh, brother. I actually can't wait for the next set to come out. It's actually got some really, uh, really good stuff for me. <laughs> That was just rude. I agree, Richard. I hope they're proud of themselves. Prick. Poopy head. Oh, he's going to get Angel Fire Ignition, right? Oh, we need to get uh, Tranquil Frill back now. Oh, we didn't get Tranquil Frill back, but I can do this. Do we do its quint? I'm not attacking. Next turn I'll attack with Pugnacious Hammer Skull with its quint. Ugh, that's gonna get it really close. Uh yeah, that has indestructible, so. Very fortunately, we get this hit. Yeah, this is actually a pretty sweet deck. I forget um, which content creator took one of their commenters or Redditors like, uh, decks and then played this. It might have been uh, Malone? Um, did, wait, 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 hang on. You, you, fuck it, you got that one right? I, Okay. Uh, that's pretty good against me. Like, might wipe out my whole entire thing. Might wipe out fucking everything I do. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good, bud. That's uh, real fucking good. Let's uh, start by attacking with this. See if we can uh, get the damage through. Yep, I thought that might actually bait through. Um... We need to get that out of their graveyard. Or else they can do it on this. <laughs> He's gonna discover five twice. Bro, you're, yeah, you're perfect. Yeah, if I, I, I know God mode when I, bro, you <laughs> see, okay, right? Yep, sure. I know God mode when I see it, man. That that's gonna be impossible. Everything perfect every time. We're good. Drop the Elish Norn on me in a fight ringing deck. All right, fair enough. He's got some ETBs there. I get it, but <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I think Mulligan. I mean, it, I guess Elish Norn does double the fight ringing ETB, right? I guess uh, it is pretty cool now that I think about it. Oof. Maybe this one. I can't really tell who to get rid of here. Can't figure it out. Ooh, hello.
Yup. Agreed, Lord Lazy. Yeah. Bit of a poop hand. Swift Spear. We definitely want to order the triggers here, just so that they can't save that, right? Oh, thank goodness. All right. I, I thought, you know, with the blue, maybe they'd have a uh, slip out the back. Caught the first part of Jeopardy. Said, oh, no, he's having a shitty game, huh? It, it's brought me into the, the lower tier of platinum, boys. And destroy target attacking creature. Oh, wow. What, what was that? What was that? Narset Enlightened Exile. Okay. Oh, fucking all right. Okay, good boy. I like this guy. Right, shout out to my own uh, Jess guy Narset shit. All right, let's uh, let's fucking go. You, I, I don't know about you. Eh, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I think I, I think we should pressure. Cause with that, and you know, the pugnacious hammer skull attacking alongside this, which will be a uh, creature when it animates. So no stun counter, right? That's uh, pretty good, I think. Yeah, he's having a garbage game. This is this is horrifying for this dude. I can block that and not even have to worry about monstrous reach. Yeah, he's having the worst game ever. Two scholars going up against a stay-at-home dad. Weeb is going to wreck those guys. Wow. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's, uh, tap it just to be difficult. All right, um, I think I'm still attacking. Big damage, but... Yeah. We'll do that. We, we do get the uh, stun counter, of course. Oh my god. Yeah, this game just isn't letting him... Uh, isn't going to let this guy play. God bless him. He's staying in here. Probably sees all my creatures and wants to wipe them so bad. I wonder if he's going to wipe and nurse it. I think maybe only if he's going to make them indestructible. Not going to lie, though. Like... Boys, um, hang on, hang on, hang on. As an additional cost to cast this spell, you can exile any number of white cards from your hand. First of all, he's, you know, he's a three-color deck, but on top of that, like, when he casts that from his graveyard with Narset here, um, Narset is going to uh, be casting an X equals zero spell. Right, so he, he yeah he can pay the extra cost I guess, but like is he gonna have that many specifically white cards in his deck that already has some red cards in it? And honestly, that feels almost as like kind of something that would seem like a good move with Narset, but like maybe isn't like like for example counters too. I I see people running counters with Narset and like I don't know how good it is when she attacks and then casts a counter. I understand why you have the counter in your deck. But, like, it doesn't really do anything with Narset. I, I didn't even... Oh, I, I, I hope I didn't come across as a roast, Felix. I, <laughs> I, I, I hope I didn't come across as shitting on that guy like I would with other people. No, no, no. I, just, I really mean that, like, from a deck-building perspective. Like, I, I think he may have missed the mark a little bit there. And w with all due respect, I, I probably should have said that. <laughs> But yeah, with the definitely the post-mortem smoke. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. Have you seen the big score spoilers? New, no, I haven't, um, Moon Watcher. A new four, a new four mana, five, five trample dropped. Okay, that's respectable. But in this day and age, that's going to have to have some type of, um, some type of effect on it. Probably a good effect. I mean, in this meta, the four drop slot? What do we got in the green four drop slot right now? Let's see. It's not crazy, but the, the new Nullhide Ferox is pretty good, or not Nullhide, whatever it is. 
Um, that new 4-4 haste to death touch. Alvenwald's pretty all right. About to rotate out, though, so I don't know if I should count it. Um, Doomscar is good. Those are just the cards that I use. I know that there's other ones. So I, can, I guess Invasion of Zendikar counts. Um, we honestly might just want to sit here and empty out this fucking guy's graveyard. Do we? Or do I play like this creature and go for him? Um, yeah, let, let's go for him. I could have also used two mana to um, exile this from his graveyard. Oh no, Richard! How, how did I not like the stream? How could you? How dare you? I have failed. Oh, forgiveness, please, big fat. Wow, Richard Dragon, you're going to have to say some Hail Trump, sir. I have to say a couple of Hail Trumps, and then maybe I'll forgive you. Uh, let's see. He's got a graveyard full of this shit, so he'd like nothing more than to bring that back, right? Since the Intrepid Paleontologist isn't getting through, let's just gain the four life. Uh, yep, doesn't really matter. Attack. Ooh, Moonwatcher wrote, up, wrote up that card. Thank you. All right. ETBs creates uh, two foods. Okay. When it attacks, sure, you sack a food. Mill three. Okay. Permanent card from Grave to Ooh, like a so a mill style Doomscar Warrior. That's fun. All right. They always hit the first one of these. Do they have the second one? Okay, we're going to have to find something incredible now. That's probably going to put another Nissa in their hand. I, I always assume, always plan for the worst. Alright, we, we need something that hits their creature here, dude. Um, wait, really? Did you just do that because you're programmed to concede to not like getting rid of a Bone Horde? Because like, you're doing fine. I, his hand must be garbage. Whatever those three cards are, it must be garbage. Because, like, he's not doing bad. I mean, I guess he saw us exile his graveyard and we have Bone Horde. But, like, this is anybody's game right now. I, his hand must really suck. Feels nice, the Roots deck. Um, Oh, yeah, that is pretty cool in the Roots deck, Moonwatcher. I guess, I guess that could be, uh, like, a mid-range Roots. That's pretty. That's something I could do mid-range insidious roots could try some shit i don't know how good it would be but whenever i think about making decks it just becomes mid-range so if i tried to make a in my own insidious roots deck it would just become mid-range uh, unlike the insidious roots deck that i did did uh where you know i pulled most of the inspiration from what people had already done Although, I guess in my defense, a decent amount of the Insidious Roots deck builds itself once you realize that Surveil is the mechanic to go with. There's also a green 3 drop that looks like fun. It's a 1-1 one, one that creates a 3-3 three, three golem on ETB. Oh, I'm already thinking Tribute. Um, for 2 mana and tap, you put a counter on each token you control, and they gain Trample. Okay. Um, attack... And they gain Trample. I'm loving that. Moonwatcher. Sounds pretty cool with Sovereign, too. Probably shouldn't have even said that out loud. It's all right. Where is Gat? He wouldn't have allowed that. Uh, no blocks. Uh, we're taking heavy damage, but we have something that we want to do here. Hail Vorinclex, says Felix. Yeah, Gat would never have allowed you to not like the goddamn stream, Richard Dragon. Unbelievable. Still finding it difficult to forgive you. I, I can't believe it. I mean, I guess I guess so, yeah. He, we did have double Dracosaur. He probably doesn't have the sweep. There you go. Um, hang on. Um, 
you. I think we're just going to put down the other Dracosaur. I think we're going to go double Dracosaur. Although we could go Itzquint here. We, we really could. Alright. Let's uh, attack with uh, just that one, right? Yeah, that'll be all. Yeah, and turn. I think we block with everything we have. Uh, do I add another one onto that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They they got trample. A lot of cards with Felden. As always, I wish I could deal it 100 damage and exile their whole library. I'm feeling alright. Yeah. Someone just start the dryer, so the squeaking is ear piercing. Ugh. Ugh. Do y'all think Dracosaur will be replaced by... Oh, that's actually a really good question, Felix. That's a very good question. I, I'm going to use that Terra of the Peaks a whole hell of a lot. Um, but is it going to replace Bone Horde? Po maybe everywhere outside of my dinosaur deck for me personally. Not speaking for anybody else, of course. Because, um, yeah, I mean... 5 cost dragon. I, I would assume that in dinosaurs, obviously, because of the typing, Dracosaur is fine. Outside of dinosaurs, though, maybe something like Pia Nalar or Quintorius, who wants to cast from exile, you know? Um, but Terror of the Peaks is really good. I like, asked of uh, a, a year or so ago, I, maybe two, I was mildly interested in, a, it, in getting it in paper. It was like somewhere in between twenty and thirty dollars. I think it was only printed in like a semi recent core set back when they did core sets like what, M twenty, M twenty one or something. Uh I wanna get both of my duels next to each other. Yeah. I have to get both of the duels next to each other. Dracosaur is better, but Terror has some fun combo potential. Um that Terra plus Scoot Swarm, oh my gosh. Oh gosh, all that clicking. Oh, that sounds terrible. Nobody ever used the Guild Pact Dragon from this set. If miss it, perhaps? The one that's in the in the shop today? They have a lot of five color cards in the shop today. Alright, you know what? We're going to be able to blast Calyx. Yeah, and every counter that Calyx puts on itself is lost value. That's why when I play Calyx, I always really think hard about putting the counters anywhere but Calyx. Alright, um... Fine, let's attack. We, we deal six, but then they, they gain three back. That's all right. I was debating not attacking, but what if it just gets ossified? I would have much rather attacked. Terror is cool to grab with some other big dude with star... Oh, shit. Moonwatcher. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I like that a whole hell of a lot. Great call. All right. I think we just dropped the Dracosaur. Start by attacking. Uh, yes. Carrying a deck with Galta. With Galta. Is some fun jank. That's great. Oh. 
That's wonderful. We're going to be playing so much Terror. Ah, thank you. It was in M21. There it is. The last course. Uh, yep. Nobody used the new Niv Mizzet. Uh, neither the Incinerator. That's a board wipe. He just got up to seven with Hollowed Haunting. We need to find Tranquil, dude. That does not look like Tranquil Frillback to me. I don't know. Doesn't look like it to me. We're not going to attack through here. Sadly. So let's drop this, right? Then we can do this and uh, Hammer Skull. Let's start with here. We have to find that Tranquil. Uh, we will attack with that one. I'm going to assume they're going to win here. Sadly, uh, I really need the uh, the Tranquil on the more. I guess a Triumphant Chomp, another Itsquinth. I can't block with Itsquinth to get into the graveyard and then mess around with it with Paleontologist. They have Katilda there. Okay. I, I still think this is going to absolutely massacre us and ruin our lives, but... Let's, let's start out with it. Um, what do I do? Destroy. Do we need to exile? Ye do we need to exile? They could get the Kami of Trans Transients back, so yeah, we should. Alright, uh, do I gain the life? I don't want to be able to do Pugnacious Hammer Skull. All right, so this, exile their graveyard, or else they get Katilda back. Or, sorry, they get a uh, Kami of Transients back. My bad. <clears throat> oh, brother. All right, well, let's... Uh... Wow, well, we final finally got him. That'll be uh, no attacks. We're going to have to bring them down from so much. I, I don't see it happening. Yep, great attack with Katilda. No blocks. And uh, here's, our, here's our only shot, boys. It's got to be like a tally or something and find their ossification, I think. Triumphant Chomp. Is there any way that we can get in there for a victory? I'm going to have to assume that it's just flat out no, right? There's, can, We might be able to beat Katilda if we um, deal her damage and then attack. Or if I deal her six damage and then kill this, she'll lose... Um, but then she's in their graveyard, and I can bring her back with this. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. I think we have to go through combat first. Um, this is fucking crazy. Keep you... Okay, let's uh, attack now. Um, with everything. Well, yeah, we're going to lose, so everything. Uh, eh, not you. Not you. Eh, not you. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's not give them the easy uh, lifelink blocks with the Jukai. This is equal to the number of spirits they control. So this thing should die. Yeah. And now Katilda should be weaker. 
Um, so we have to take her out of their graveyard. Oh, I've royally fucked up, haven't I? Yeah, I have just too little mana to do that. Shit, I should have tapped for the fucking... God damn it. God damn it. Should have tapped the lore keeper. Fuck. Damn it. They just put that, uh... Yeah, well, good game. It took me for goddamn ever there. Shit. They just put Katilda on something and fly over. Well, we tried. That was a uh, that was a fun match to try in. And it definitely was. So good game to this dude. Oh man, yeah, we were gonna use Intrepid Paleontologist to exile the backside of Katilda from their gosh. Damn, that was a good one. That was a little exhausting, but that was pretty good. I like that one. Whew. All right, I'm, I'm not too far back in the chat. Okay, this is good. Goldspan Dragon. Oh, still one of the best dragons to ever grace standard. Wasn't playing uh, during, uh, on Arena during that standard, but I went to a card store at one point, and uh, a, a guy went up to the uh, counter to buy a Goldspan Dragon, and the shop owner warned him that it was a $40 card. I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, I guess it was pretty good in standard. Inferno of Star Mounts. Ooh, haste can't be countered, right? Possibly trampled too. I'm in the historic event right now, and some MF played a story seeker. Okay, I'm not sure what that is. The two mana lifelinker. They were all flying, and then all their asses sat back down. Said Felix, we we did sit their asses back down only for a second. Yeah, it was a good tranquil frill back. Wasn't enough, but it was good. Um, I'm gonna keep this because I'm not fucking mulliganing. To five and getting the beautiful keep five. I'm not doing it. Raptor to draw. Pray to get a uh, new Dracosaur. All right, Moonwatcher, take it easy, man. I hope you hear that. <laughs> Long while after you're gone. Have a good one, man. Thank you for coming. All right, that, that's going to need some attention from a Tranquil. Because th there's no way this deck doesn't have all of the, um, right, the six power, like four and five, uh, or six power, three and four cost creatures. There you go. Um, yeah, no blocks. I'll probably concede uh, very shortly after the fight rigging pop up if it's anything that I don't want to bother with. Yep, so let's uh, see what it is here. It's not terrible. We can deal. Should I kill their pugnacious with mine? Maybe. Before it becomes the biggest thing with fight rigging. Um, do we attack? I think we could attack with it, right? Chat from earlier, I think you missed. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Probably way far back. RIP, my fellow Mizzix Mastery player. He went second in the mirror. Ooh, wow, you got a mirror match in, in your Mizzix Mastery? Does that happen a lot? Good, good shit. Sharp eyed rookie, not the greatest there either. Um, I think we should block that. Do we try the uh, the very fast hammer skull here, or the very fast skull spore? Yeah, very fast skull spore here. All right, very fast, boys. That's the whole point. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Dude, that's twice in one night. Stop. Fuck yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's funny. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> so just give, give me a second. The laughter isn't dying down. Just gonna have to ride this one now. Okay, 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 okay. It wasn't the same as mine. Okay, so not quite a mirror match. He was playing the Dragon... Fucking Dragon Storm. I think that originally came out in Scourge. Like around 2003. A lot of big creatures. One of the themes of Scourge was creatures with power 6 or greater. Had some ways to mess around with that. Discount them. Tutor for them. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, I guess we'll keep it. Right, I mean, it's keepable. It's not awesome, but it's not bad. Okay, so ult ultimatum. Okay, was his backup? I think I've only let me get this one down. I think I've only had the mirror once before in the uh, okay in the no ban list event, and I uh, lost that one to a dark oh to dark ritual into dragon storm. Oof. Dark ritual, what a card. Um, you know what? I'm gonna risk it with this one. I know usually it's it's um it's quint. I really want it's quint next turn. M maybe I just died to greed. I mean, I always do. I, every single stream, we died agreed. Honestly, fine. They'll take it, Squint, right? Because otherwise it blasts the bat. I'll get the Raptor down. Ah, oh, you had you watched it back? Good. Yeah, I'm, that's the second time today that we've done the, the very fast um, Skull Spore Nexus into attack, and then they let it go through, and then we hit that uh, double for the win. Super happy with that. Okay. <clears throat> Lots of uh, life gain over there. If he throws down a voice of the blessed, we're in trouble, yeah. Wow. Well, we're going to play this and we're going to pray. We're praying for that thing. My god. I don't think we're going to get around that. Yeah, that's, uh, bye, dude. Yeah. That's way too much. Not dudding, man. Down to your last card, huh? Okay. <clears throat> We're up against Occupy. It's a cute name. I like it. Uh, yeah, that's what I meant to do. Eh, let's, uh... <clears throat> nah, not that one. That can come down, I guess, after Tribute. Draw me the card. Glimpse the core. Yep, very good, very good. Sweet. All right, let's... Uh... Stomper. Okay. How about a land? They didn't drop a land from hand. 
good. That's what we like to see. Also, what a top deck. Feed. Oh, wow, into Hammer Skull? Okay, that's, that's really good. Yeah. I could, we have Bone Horde and Tribute, so... R.I.P. the Fair Resource Gamer. Oh, what did, what did you do? Double Fable is a turn for Omniscience? I forget exactly what your deck did does, but I'm sure that's discarded to Fable Chapter 2 and then reanimated if I had to guess. I said I'm sure and then I had to if I had to guess. Whatever. Yup. This is actually a pretty awesome hand, right? Oh, I didn't see the symbol there. Oh, Double Fable is not as good as the turn four. Okay, thank you, Lord Lazy. Yeah, my bad. That goddamn symbol. It's in, it's in chat, damn it. Um, all right, all right, all right. Let's, uh, let's attack. That's Teething Wormlet. They want it to grow. See if this is a green artifacts deck, but like with incidental artifacts from Gila Greeters. Oh, it's Simic. Okay, so that could be the uh, like the cookies deck that Ash Lizzle likes, right? Oh wow. Okay, I like that play. That's actually a sweet play right there. That is quite a sweet play. Um, we're gonna use Itzquint. That got me up to five dubs, so now I get two packs. Hey, 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 out of the event instead of one. Let's go. Yeah, that is a lot of wormlets. Yeah, all he's doing all right with the wormlets. All right, yo, he didn't attack with the three two. Good. Uh, Tranquil kills this one because it can draw cards and become unblockable. Pretty much the exact perfect one to kill, I'd say. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll completely tap out. Fine. Do, do I want to exile your graveyard? I don't need the last mana, do I? Nah. Let's, let's fully tap out. No attacks. Can you dud with the last card in your hand? Ugh. Yeah, good play, good play. Uh, let's kill this one here. Or do we... Maybe this here, and then this here. We gotta be taking care of these wormlets. Oh, Raging Bull, yes! Welcome to the worst Magic Arena stream. Thank you for coming by. What the hell am I doing here? Is it going to be Tranquil Frillback? Is it going to be Itzquint blasting them? Maybe we'd get this one on the field, and then next turn Itzquint is going to be pretty good. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Uh, do we attack? Do I attack? No, 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 no. I actually want to block a Teething Worm. I, I'm, I'm going to have to pray that this guy doesn't get a, a good top deck. Come on, dude. No artifacts. Drop a land, dude. Come on. Drop the fuck. You, you got that one? More and more. Oh. 
That was your top, bro. You are in God. Come on, dude. Oh, you're you're la oh. That's pretty incredible, dude. That's that's really exceptionally good. That's really good. Can't block Ginger Brute. If he doesn't want, that was your top deck. I think your next one's gonna be perfect then. Oh right, I can block Ginger Brute because it uh, my Rampaging Raptor has haste. Okay. He didn't attack a. Yeah, it, it's all good. Yeah, it's it's tough to remember whose creatures have haste. I uh, I get it. I get it. Um, who do we get here? Tranquil Frillback, probably. Um, hang on. One, two, three, seven. Do I have seven? We can kill one of these. So let's get Itzquin. Whoa! Whoa! Hang on a second. That's a good card. Uh, let's tap red. No attack. I, I probably could attack, honestly. Maybe I should attack with that one. Alright, come on, dude. Come on, dude. How about an all right draw? <laughs> all right. Um, I mean, all right, let's, uh, let's do stuff. I don't think I should do Zoetic Lift here. Or kill the Simeon Simulacrum. <coughs> um, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I fucked up. I, I forgot to keep the uh, ward, too. Damn it. Should I just kill this anyway at this point? I think so. I think so. I, I think we do it, yeah. Good news is he doesn't get to unearth it because it does get exiled as part of that. He does get the Discover 3, though, because I may have fucked up a little bit. Um, that will be no deck. Alright, are you going to dud now? Your last top deck was that, and then it was Simeon Simulacrum before it. Thank God, boys. Boys, it isn't God himself. It isn't God himself. Oh my God! All right, we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start attacking. One, two, three. Uh, yeah. Good. That's gonna be his second big oops today. He better read that card. Uh, yeah, alright, do I, uh, tap more? And then lose this? Yeah, let, let's, uh, let's tap a little more. Yeah. I didn't do the last one so that I can, uh, you know, use my two mana with the Paleontologist to exile one of their things. Probably not gonna be, uh, meaningful, but exile this guy, right? Okay. So now he's not god decking, so we're really feeling good about that. Because, like, yeah, that slowed the game down a lot. This could be ours now. We, we just have to play this out nicely. Yeah, that's it. Thank god he stopped god decking.
Uh, I'm honestly, I'm about done. I'm ready to uh, try to find a W to end the stream on. Thank you, Lord Lazy, for the noise there. The guy had an explosive open. Once again, thank God he stopped God decking. Woo! Oh, Raging Bull like that one. Yeah, man. Whew. Tranquil Frailback's looking real nice in that matchup up against all the artifacts. Hey, even even got the Simeon Simulacrum's uh, unearth ability there by exiling their whole graveyard. I'll take it. I don't like this hand. I'm, I'm not thrilled, but, you know, we'll take it. I'll take it. Wow. Games finally stopped getting fed to me. So you're chilling with your two packs and 400 more gems. There you go. A nice bounty from your event. Grats. Nothing good in the packs. Yep, fair enough. Two packs. What can you do? Oh, War Leader's Call. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good there. I think we should probably do this. Right, because we only need one of these dorks to get the Rampaging Raptor down. Wow, alright. Oh, we're pretty much going to need to draw a Bone Horde, I think. They like the card on top of their library. That's not very good. I feel like that wasn't a great attack with the Raptor. It might have wound up preventing more damage. Although at this point, now with his board looking like this, it turns out that it, it was a good attack. But it, it could have been bad. I guess if he didn't tap this, he could have gotten some damage in. Uh, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much going to be uh, it. So uh, that was a nice waste of time against whatever this deck never isn't. Wow, okay. That's right, I have Tribute to the World Tree in this. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Another brain. <laughs> the the never isn't. Yeah, I, I used to watch a bunch of, like, Stephen Colbert, and uh, not to get into the politics, is like, not, not on the show he's in now, but, like, the um, Colbert Report, and <clears throat> once again, not to get into the politics, but, like, it's the way that he phrased words. <clears throat> yeah, shit like that. Like, he, he wrote a book called America Rebecoming the Greatness We Never Weren't. I, I, I just like the way he phrases shit like that. All right, let's get down, you. <clears throat> they swung that white weenie. Ugh. <clears throat> yeah, they did. They did all raging while they swung that. <laughs> <laughs> White weenie.
Ooh, Tana, yeah! Finally got your Orzhov surveillance. Congrats! <clears throat> Alright. Uh, yeah, you shouldn't be attacking with that. He was just pressing spacebar a little too much. I like this guy. Uh, we're gonna have to blast that. Only one of our creatures can blast that, so let's see if they have the kill spell for Pugnacious Hammer Skull. Yep, well, they do, so I guess we don't need to pay the two. They could have waited for us to do that. Um, let's go ahead and uh, drop this, I guess. Uh, attacks. Yeah, if we, if we don't get the Tranquil Frill back, it's going to be bad, because they have um, two of these guys and a Swamp. It's pretty good in their graveyard. So I might want to put my mana into Paleontologist here. Um, like, start by attacking. They're going to make their block and then sacrifice. So let's attack. Yeah, because I'm exiling two from their graveyard here. Yep, and now they're going to sacrifice. And now we will do our thing. All right, right here. We'll get the ones that tutor, of course. So that that is... Very good by Intrepid Paleontologist. Okay, the Celestis can help them draw a discard. Yeah, that's good. Slowgurk, right. This is a Slowgurk deck too. It's not just the uh, World Soul's Rage. Wow. Um, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixteen. That's not quite lethal. <clears throat> um, do we want to drop this maybe? Get a fat attack in? <sighs> yeah. Let's attack with its squint too so that they block it. And then we can use it next turn with uh, Paleontologist. Maybe. Maybe. I prefer fast Kirk. Myself says Lord Lazy. And sorry, but I do have to make yeah, I understand, trust I understand needing to make a joke just about every time. Oh yeah, I could definitely yeah, I could definitely feel that. Wow, they block with slow Kirk with fast Kirk. Sadly I didn't have the one extra mana to be able to uh stymie that play. Dude, give me the mana. Give me the mana. We gotta go tribute to the world tree paleontologist here. Give me the land, dude. Don't leave me here like this. Oh, fuck you. What? I have to get this down. And put some pressure on their graveyard. I guess they only have the one land, but I'll still do it. Let's me, you know. Put that two man into exiling my own stuff too. Get a nice dinosaur out here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Can't I can't say it didn't give me my tribute. To, there they fucking are. There they are. Wow. All right. Let's uh. I think this one's the way to go.
Dude. See, this is why I practice my mono green virtue deck, because I know it's obnoxious. Um, okay. I mean, we could fuck up his, uh, his lands here. Do I do that? And just attack with only this? I kind of want to attack with only that, or maybe even not at all. Yeah, not at all. This gives me three graveyard exiles. Uh, okay, hang on. Yup, because now that that's in his graveyard, we will exile that before it's his turn. Wait, 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 it, it didn't, it didn't let me do something there? Didn't let me, okay, okay, I thought it was going to give me priority back to do something after that went into his graveyard. Okay. Guess I'm wrong, uh, you know what, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's cancel, go ahead, do it. Alright, so let's see. Right now I'm uh, looking like this, and you have that. Alright, that's... Uh, <laughs> sure, dude. That went pretty well for us, huh? Five lands. That's a Troxa. Every single one of these people should be mandated to do 20 games against Sparky. For punishment. If they didn't go to... If they didn't go to a uh, to like you know a game against somebody first, uh, ten games. But if if you went to this first and made people sit around and wait for your dumbass to sit there and figure out how to ride with your training wheels, an extra ten games against Sparky. And it's for everybody's good too. Um. All right. Let's uh, do this. I'm I'm really just about done though. To be honest, yeah. I'm not even going to bother. Yeah, sitting there with a full hand of cards, Atroxa. I'm fucking struggling to get off the ground with one tribute. Seriously, bro. If you're going to sit there with your even slower version of somebody's thing, like, you know, do it. That's great. You know, imitation's the highest form of flattery, but, like, can you imitate them playing it? Can you, please? Can you imitate competence pretty, please? Because it, it takes quite a while. It, it is a virtue deck. You know, it's got a lot of libraries loading up. And they're all fucking garbage at it. And not all of them. As a matter of fact, earlier today we saw somebody who was good. And I remember thinking while I was facing him. God damn. You are such an awesome contrast against the average skill level of this deck. Didn't I just face you? Guess not. I, I could swear I just faced someone with a similar name. Whatever. Oh, yeah, Lord Lazy, it's it's worse in Unranked. The only decks I face right now in Unranked are this one that always gets ill-timed Explosion on turn 4, um, and Insidious Roots that always has two Insidious Roots down, also by turn 4. Oh, and Red Deck goes first. Alright, this, this ain't funny anymore. This isn't funny anymore. He's got Nissa out there. He, he had a perfect open. I'm trying to get a... Uh, fourth land here, dude. I'd say that's perfect for them, right? This thing turn two into this turn three. I'd say that's just about exactly it. Yeah, but in unranked, they pop off every single time. And they're all butt-fucking idiots. Because it takes so long. I've never seen them get close to popping off, because I'm out the door like...
They have another Nissa in hand. Very uh, big issue with this one. Gets them other Nissas. One of the things that makes the card so good, of course, but like, yeah, I have to keep having removals. And me, I, I don't have too many. And then it encourages the people who do to run more, even more, and then I have to deal with that. Seriously, dude, you, if you can't handle your dumb fuck shit, then don't do your dumb fuck shit. Uh, I think this one's the World Souls. Yeah, he's... Ugh. Alright, this is uh, probably a total fucking waste of time, right? matter. I'm going to assume they drop Nissa and then start with the uh, land. If they tap out for Virtue here, that might be very good for us. Right? Because Tranquil Frillback can come in and handle a lot. Come on, dude. Tap out for the virtue. Oh, wait. He gets to play that Aftermath Analyst and bring them all back, right? Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Good lord, dude. Cool deck. Alright, I'm gonna find a win and then I'm gonna leave because I'm fucking done. I, I might not even find a win. I'm actually just done. So thank you all for coming today. If you haven't already left a like on the stream, I hope you guys did enjoy it. See, that's the thing too, Lord Lazy. Despite how I, how I talk about that deck, I actually like it. That's why it, 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 it's even more annoying to see it played by these fucking knuckle-dragging trolls. Alright, uh, mm, nah. All right. You definitely want Cavernous Souls. Get some rest. Stay blessed. We're aiming for it. Thank you, all Raging Bull. Now let's uh, see if we can fucking get a win here. I think either way, I'm just about done. Thank you, man. I think that Cavern of Souls threw them off a bit. That's, that's on the stack a long time. Okay, yep, sure. I think we'll attack. Sweet what the dude's doing here. Haven't seen anybody doing that since, like, within a month of that set releasing. Hey, using this with the uh, vehicles? Good for this guy. He has cosmetic style, too. Actually, holy shit, he has cosmetic styles fucking everywhere. Oh my god scared. Is that Cavern of Souls actually doing work against this guy? 
I feel like it is. Yeah, absolutely, Lord. The, yeah, this is actually a really fucking cool card. All right, all right. Okay, yeah. Well, that's definitely pretty good. That looks a bit better than it did before. Okay. He is down to one card, though. Absolutely, yeah. If he lets us kill the hover bike, that's his that's his way to tap right now, right? Outside of I guess attacking. Oh, he's gonna save it? Too bad. Uh yeah. What's that? Okay. Yeah, alright, the new counter spell, right? Didn't didn't recognize it. Okay. We fucking... I like this guy. Maybe I won't speak for you guys, but I fucking like this guy. Um, but yeah, I, I think he uh, I think he might die here. Because this has a Sacrifice of Merfolk, counter-target non-creature spell, unless its controller pays one. That is not going to do it here. Uh, let's put this down. I think no attacks this time. Next turn with, I believe, Bone Horde. We can attack. I, we could do Marauder, or Rampaging Raptor. It's, it's a little more aggressive. Uh, that was a bad spacebar match. He might leave. All right. All right. Yeah, oh, that's horrible. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that fucking poor guy got massacred with those draws. That was horrible. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm really happy that I got a win there. I would like to end the stream there. I like the deck. Oh, if you're talking about, uh, yeah, the Simic uh, Merfolk. Yeah, well... I don't see it anymore, hardly ever. That guy's the first one in a long time, so I guess it doesn't do too uh, do too well, unfortunately. I'd love to see it more, but that'll do it for uh, tonight, everybody. Thank you for liking my stream. I hope you guys already did that. I really appreciate that because it gets the videos out to more people, you know, helps it get out to new eyeballs. Thank you guys so much for being the uh, lifeblood of my channel's, uh, my channel's views. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Take care of each other. Come back tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, for more of the worst Magic Grand Stream. Let me finish chat. Kind of crazy how you got double out-ramped by two-drop tribal. <laughs> nice watching. See you, Lord Lazy. Have a good night, everybody. Please like my...